What's going on guys, Vowel TV, Team R4UL, your favourite YouTube mechanic, back again and what we're doing this time round is, I've got a VW Golf here, a 2007 VW Golf, it's a 1.9 TDI and we're going to go ahead and replace the front pipe, the coolant pipe that is, that goes on the back of the water pump, uh, not the easiest job in the world, okay, not the easiest job in the world, uh, it, it started leaking, right, so we're going to go ahead and replace that, I'll show you which one it is, if you come across this problem, uh, the one that goes behind the oil cooler, goes into the water pump, we're going to go ahead and replace that. The coolant pipe that is, the metal coolant pipe. Uh, 2007 VW Golf, let's go, let's do it. Well, okay, the first thing what we're going to do is obviously take the cover off, which is there. I'm going to show you how to, take, how to pull that off. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take that off. Take that off as well. And we'll go ahead and take the air filter box off done it hundreds of times before you've seen it on my videos uh, so we're gonna go ahead and take this off we'll either take that off from there or there I'd recommend just take it off from here this clip here and then you should just pull off and air filter box should come straight off let's go Right, the next thing what we're going to do is we're going to take this little Torx off here, Torx 30, another Torx 30 here, and you don't need to, and we'll take that off as well, that little uh, boost sensor pipe as well. Uh, you don't need to take this off totally, we're just going to move it back a little bit so we can gain access to the pipe and everything down there. So uh, let's go ahead and take that off, Torx 30, Torx 30, if you want take this clip off as well, so it'll move a bit more, this switch, let's go. Right, okay, I've took this one off, I've took that off, took the clip off, that's off as well. So we need to take this ball off here. Okay, so we're going to go down this way. And as you can see there, a little 8 milli bolt. We're going to go ahead and take that off. And hopefully that, this one, this little ball here, should move out of the way. And then we can gain access there. Right, okay, as you can see here, I can gain access to this pipe. Basically, we're replacing this pipe here. Okay, it's, it's behind the oil cooler, the oil filter housing. This pipe here, that's the pipe we're replacing. It goes into the side of the thermostat, on the side of the uh, water pump, basically. Okay, so uh, it basically goes on the side of the uh, engine here. Uh, I, I would say side of the water pump. The thermostat's there. Okay, so it goes on the side of the water pump thermostat slash thermostat. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to leave this side for two seconds. We're going to go on this side now. Okay, because this pipe goes all the way this way and then goes that way and then connects here somewhere. So we're going to take this battery off. Dead easy to take the battery off. Obviously 10 milli here, 10 milli there, and a 13 milli bolt there. Take them off, take these covers off. Let's take this battery out of the way. Okay, the battery is off. What we're going to do now is we're going to take this battery tray off. Done it so many times when we replaced the clutch and everything and other jobs basically. You guys have seen me do it. 10 milli here, one there. One there and one for there. Let's go ahead and take them off. That's one here. Another one there. And another one here. Take them three off totally. Battery out of the way. And we'll... Okay, this is the pipe here. This, this one here. It goes all the way around here. All the way this way and then back, uh, back in this way to the uh, thermostat slash water pump, back of the water pump. So, what we need to do here, obviously it'll be bolted on with some brackets or something. So what we'll do is, just to gain access to and everything, we'll go ahead and take that off. Okay, move that out, we'll have to move that out of the way anyway, because obviously the pipe comes out. Okay, that pipe is off. We're gonna go ahead and take this pipe off here. This one here, the main pipe here. We'll take that off. It goes into the matrix basically, so uh, take that off. Okay, the next thing what we're going to do is, we're going to, obviously we took that pipe off, we're going to go here and, I mean, you can struggle and get to that, there's a bolt, there's a bracket there that holds this pipe onto the, uh, like the uh, engine and everything. So uh, we need to take that bracket off, or take the uh, bolt off that is, but it goes about there and this bracket here the uh, gear linkage bracket gets in the way so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take the gear linkages off 
I mean, dead, dead easy actually, I'll be to, to, to be honest with you. Uh, take these off. These are little clips here. I'll just try demonstrating. Little clips like this. They just flick off. As you can see there, little clips. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and take them two off, these little clips off. And it's such a, just three 13 millivolts. One here. One there. And one there. Take them three off. The whole linkage bracket moves out of the way, and then we can gain access to the uh, the pipe and the bolt that holds the pipe on. And uh, yeah, hopefully take you off. Okay, guys, as you can see here, absolute enough space now. So much room for us to get our hands in there and everything so we're gonna go in this way as you can see there if I take the camera in there there's a little bolt there okay we're gonna go ahead and take that off I don't think there's any more I think there's only that one there this one here we take that off hopefully this should be moving and then obviously there'll be more brackets on this side we'll get to that side after but first things first let's tackle this side first and we'll make our way around this way take the pipes off here and everything and run all the way to the uh, thermostat slash water pump right. right okay so what we're gonna do is obviously I've cracked this bolt so I can show you guys this one here it's a size 16 16 mil let's go ahead and take that off there we go take that off there so that that should be now as you can see they're freestyling moving another bracket here 10 mil let's go ahead and take that off right. right next thing what we're gonna do is I've took this little bolt off here as well on this side just to give me a little bit more movement uh, which goes on this oil feed pipe so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take these little Jubilee clips off there's one there another one in there as you can just make it out there this here okay let's just take these little jubilee clips off these little clips off uh, for the uh, for, you know, wiring loom there and then uh, hopefully uh, that should be separated and we can uh, carry on with the rest of it that wiring loom plug kind of thing is off uh, this is moving out of the way it will move out of the way don't worry the pipe here is freestyling a little bit as well so we're going to go around to this side here i've already started taking it off as you can see there okay it's, it had a clip on there so i've got the pliers on there and uh, took the clip off I'm going to take that pipe off the water pipe that's off as well I think what we're going to do is as you can see here we're going to go straight in through the through the front here down here and along the side of this along the side of that wiring loom there's a little bracket there just there with a 10 mil 10 mil uh, bolt let's take that off and then hopefully it'll give us more access to the pipe so that's it bit by bit we're taking it off as you can see there we might need to take the oil feed pipe off okay we might need to take that off but we'll just leave that on for now we don't want to disturb it disturb it so we'll just leave that on for now let's take that bracket off that 10 milli bracket bolt 10, 10 milli bolt on the bracket let's take that off and then hopefully this wiring loom will move out of the way and then we can gain more access to the pipe all right guys before you give me a hammering absolute uh, hammering like a third degree bollocking uh, it's 11 mil not 10 mil 11 mil just just bear that in mind it's 11 mil As you can see that bracket is off if i go down this way this bracket is off it should give us enough access there to gain get our hands in there and everything so we're going to take the next bracket off which is on the pipe here just make it out there that bolt there a size 11 again we'll take that off and hopefully i don't see any more brackets on there actually there's some on this side but we'll get get to them so we're going to take this one off first and then we'll go from there so to get this off i mean if i'll be straight up honest with you i don't think you can get a ratchet or anything in there so get a spanner 11 mil spanner on there right okay as you can see there i took the bolt off that 11 mil bolt off uh, obviously I had to get two hands in there that's why I couldn't show you guys because uh, obviously one hand to hold the uh, spanner onto it so we'll go to the next step which is here I would recommend we just take that off from there and we're gonna go ahead and take this bracket off this bracket here it's got like a multi-spline torx on there 
Okay, uh, actually no, before we do that, let's just take this pipe off. This pipe off here. It's got uh, like a Jubilee clip, those uh, press on clips kind of thing. Let's take that off and then uh, then we'll take this bracket off. Okay guys, sit rep. Obviously I've took that bolt off, that 11mm 11 11 bolt off there. Um, move this crank sensor wire, cam sensor wire out of the way. What we're going to do is, obviously we need to take this pipe off, which we will get to in a minute. This pipe here. To make our life easier, what we're going to do is, we're going to pull the pipe towards this side of the engine, the gearbox side. Hopefully it comes out a little bit, because some somebody put this clip on the other way around. And it's making my life so hard, so let's give it a little movement. As you can see, all I'm doing from this side here, just pulling it towards the, this side of the car. Okay guys, sit rep. I tried taking it off, the pipe has come off, it's come away from the uh, the water pump slash thermostat housing. What, but obviously it's not coming off all the way, so what we need to do is we need to take this little switch off here, the uh, oil pressure switch off, and then, we don't need to take the switch off, we'll take the plug off, and then take the oil feed pipe off from here. Okay, because we've already took the bracket off on the pipe, it should move out all the way. So I would say that's a 17 or a 16 mil spanner we need. Let's take that off. Okay guys, sit rep. Now that, that the oil feed pipe is off, you can just move it to the top a little bit. Just persuade it a little bit. If you want to cable tie it onto this pipe here, if you want to, it's entirely up to you. But as you can see there, there's enough space now. This should move out of the way. Happy days, it's all coming off. Obviously it's separated from the uh, bulkhead, from the uh, back of the water pump uh, slash uh, thermostat housing. So what, it's, it's just caught there on this pipe. So what we'll do is we'll take either, you can bend the bracket if you want, I, I wouldn't recommend you do that. Just take that little torx off here. It's a multi-spline torx, I would say an M8 or an M10 multi-spline. Take that off, then the bracket moves out of the way. Then it, it'll easily come off. So let's go ahead and do that. Guys, da -da, the pipe is off. We've got plenty of space there. As you can see, I can lift this pipe up, up, pipe up and then we can gain access to this uh, clip, which is facing downwards. So we're going to take that off. Pipe should come off. Happy days. Replace it with a new one. Let's go. Right, so there we have it. Pipe is off. Eagle eyes uh, viewers out there, you might notice I've took the crank sensor wire off. Cam sensor wire, sorry. So it's separated. So one side's gone that way. The other side's gone this way. Gave, gives me more access. So now all it is now, you just have to maneuver it out. Just make your way out basically this way. It will pull out this way. You'll get like wires and things in the way. So you just have to maneuver it out. And that, uh, there we have it. One pipe, I don't know what pipe you'd call this. I would say the pipe that goes into the water pump slash thermostat housing coolant pipe right let's replace it with the new one as you can see there the pipe is off like I, like i showed you before and um, that's where it lives okay it goes into there and i would say that's the thermostat yeah back of the thermostat i keep on saying back of the thermostat slash water or water pump but it is i would say the water pump is directly in front of that as well so i would say back of the thermostat the pipe that goes behind the thermostat will give that a little clean out and then obviously we'll get the new pipe in there and uh, finish the job off right there we have it there's our brand spanking new pipe i put some oil on the end there okay put oil on all the pipe ends as you can see there i'm going to put oil on all of them so it makes the pipes go in nice and easy a bit of oil okay so uh, let's get that in there same way we took it off we're going to slide it in this way through the side here and just just you know obviously maneuver it and get it into the hole there okay let's do it all right guys i've got the pipe in there as you can see there what we're going to do now is in reverse order we're going to anchor it up first put all the bolts on then secure it then we can put all the pipes on it'll make our life a lot easier because now it's all freestyle if i move it there it's all moving everything try getting the pipes on you won't be able to get the pipes on properly so i would basically put that bolt on here there's another one down there, remember? The one that anchors it on this side, on the bottom. Put that one on. Put everything back on in reverse order. Let's do it. Okay guys, sit rep. I've got the pipe back on. I've bolted it on as well. 11 milli there and the 16 milli on that side. All done and dusted. I've put that pipe on, this one. 
Okay, put the clip on. This time round, I've been kind to whoever's going to take it off next time. I've put it on on the top, as you can see there. Right, so you can get to it nice and easy. So Tom, Dick and Harry put it underneath. Um, makes my life so hard. Made my life so hard, that is. Right, what I'm going to do now is get this bracket on for the crack, uh, cam sensor. Get the wiring plug back on. And we'll go from there. Obviously, there's another wiring plug there. That bracket we took off there with another 11 milli. Get that back on. Get all the plugs, all the ancillaries and everything. Oil feed pipe. The switch for the uh, uh, oil pressure switch. Put that back on. And basically make work your way back around this way that's the way i say it obviously we took it off from that side came to this side now to put it back on make your way from this side all the way to that side finish all this side off happy days Okay guys, I've got all the pipes on as you can see there, I put the clips back on as well, not a rocket science, just get some pliers and they just cl uh, clamp on, um, that one's back on as well, in there, as you can see there, just make it out, everything is back on on this side, I've put the pipe back on, the intake pipe back on, um, that's it, basically everything on, we're going to go on this side now and what we're going to do is we're going to put the linkages on, the gear linkages on, the uh, air filter box on, air filter battery tray, everything in reverse order, if you took it off, you should be able to put it back on reverse order let's go let's do it 